Whenever you're investigating a memory leak with JProfiler, the Heapwalker has most of the answers. What is a memory leak on the JVM anyway? The main characteristic of a memory leak is that the instance counts of certain classes unexpectedly increase over time and the garbage collector is not able to bring them back down. In the demo application that I'm profiling here, there's a checkbox that says leak memory. This is an artificial memory leak where it takes some temporary objects and puts them in a map so that they cannot be garbage collected. But before I start this artificial memory leak, I would like to tell JProfila that I'm starting a new use case and that I'm interested in newly allocated objects. To do that, I use the mark heap action that's available on the Heapwalker overview page here, but also on the toolbar. And when I click on it, JProfiler tags all the objects on the heap so that later on it knows which objects are old and which objects are new. Let's start the memory leak and wait a little for some objects to be leaked. Then we have to take a heap snapshot. And now we can see in the header of the heap walker how many objects have been allocated since the time that we clicked on the mark heap action. Looking at the classes view for the entire heap, we have no idea which objects are participating in the memory leak. But with the use new action here in the header area of the heap walker, we can precisely pinpoint them. This cluster of classes here with 585 instances each is probably connected and we look for the most high level class, which is the general path class here, and we select these objects for closer inspection. Let's look at the incoming references to all the single general path objects. We can open the chains of incoming references and explore them ourselves. However, the best way to find the source of a memory leak is to use the show paths to GC root action. In most cases, seeing a single path to a garbage collector root is enough to understand why an object is not garbage collected. Under some circumstances, you want to see more than one path and JProfiler can do that for you too. So let's check out how that looks like. In many cases, like this one, the actual garbage collector routes are not interesting and we have to follow the chain of references to the first reference that is actually part of our code. In this case, the Bayesi Anim class has this leak map here that holds a strong reference chain to the general path object at the top. And this is basically it. We have now found the source of a memory leak. Of course, we have only looked at a single object and the question remains if that is true for all the 585 instances in the current object set. JProfiler offers cumulated reference views where you can look at the references of all instances in the current object set together. So let's switch to the cumulated incoming references view. The cumulated reference views show compact collection references. The internal reference structure of a hash map class is folded into the single map node here. And the next incoming reference is already the leak map of the Bayesian anim class. So we can see that the situation is the same for all 585 instances in the current object set. Another useful piece of information when analyzing a memory leak is where the offending objects have been allocated. And that's what the allocations view of the heap walker is for. In this case, allocations were not recorded. Allocation recording has quite a high overhead, so it's not enabled by default. I have a recording profile here for switching on allocation recording. Let's mark the heap again, wait a little, and then we take another heap snapshot. Let's perform the same selection steps as before. We use the new objects and out of those we select the general path instances. Instead of showing the reference view, we now switch to the allocations view. The cumulated allocation tree shows that all the general path instances have been allocated at the same call stack. Let's inspect that method with the source viewer. And indeed, this line here is responsible for filling up the leak map with general path instances. 
In a real-world situation, the reference chains are often quite a bit longer, but the underlying principles of how to solve a memory leak with JProfiler are just the same.